What's up, everybody? Jusky Rain here, and uh, we're back with more Breath of the Wild. And apparently, I saved, I saved the game while in this shrine, but it didn't save my progress in the shrine. It started me completely back up in, the, in you know, with the beginning of the shrine. So that's fine. Um, I know what I have to do. So we'll go ahead and do this real quick. But it made me start the whole shrine over. I had it halfway done. But uh, what are you gonna do? It's okay. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> we have to set this link up. I need one more. Here it is. Oh no, that's not the bot. Where the hell is the? There was a box somewhere. Unless I did this wrong. Hold on. It sucks. I had this open yesterday. <laughs> uh, trying to see. Alright, I don't see anything else. I think it's just these two I'm working with. So, let me see. can't reach. What if I did this? Nah. It can't reach. Um, where is... How did I do this before? Did I go on this side first? I might have gone on this side first. No, I didn't because I didn't open up anything over here yet. It had to have been over here. It sucks that it doesn't save the whole freaking thing. Oh, here we go. There we go. I got one. Okay, we're good. We're on the right track now. Alright, let's get this barrel out. Now we'll get the chest out. Whoops. There we go. This will get the chest out. Now I need to use this as a conductor as well, I think. Now what was in here? It was something I couldn't take, right? Yeah, it was another Thunder Blade, but my inventory's full. Uh, I'd love to take it, but I don't know if I can. All right, let's go over here. Let's bring everything over to this side. Now, let's see, let me bring the, let me bring a block over here and put it at the edge and see what happens if I light this all up like that. See, I don't know what the point of lighting that one up is. Unless I have to get both, I probably have to get both of them lit at once. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So I need to get that other block out so I can put it on the other side. Okay. Let's get that other block out. Okay, let's get the other barrel here. Yo, Yetis. What's up, dude? <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. I started this shrine yesterday and I got about halfway through it. Well, about where I am right now. 
and I had to leave to go to work. So I'm like, all right, let me save it, and then I'll continue the shrine tomorrow. And then when I started it up this morning, apparently <clears throat> it started me completely back up at the beginning of the shrine. So I had to do it all over again. But the good thing is I knew what I did from yesterday, so I quickly, quickly got back to where I was. Using the chest, the whole picture. <laughs> all right. Oh my God! Shocked the hell out of myself by accident. Oops. There we go. All right, let's take this guy out. Is there anything in here? No, okay. So let's put this one over here. Oh my god, I killed myself! Oh my god, I killed myself! Oh! I freaking electrocuted myself. Amifa's grace wasn't ready. I have to start all over again. Oh no! Oh man, that sucks. Yes, I did. I got the tower, Yetis. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. This shrine's taking me forever because of stupidity. First I saved the game not knowing that it wasn't going to save my progress in the shrine. And now I freaking killed myself! <laughs> oh. Yes, I did get the tower. And it was pretty damn awesome. Um, I got the whole map opened up now. I'll show you as soon as I get out of the shrine. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Oh, you know what? I was I said Mipha's Grace wasn't ready, but guess what? Mipha's Grace doesn't even work in the shrine. Mipha's Grace isn't even an option right now. Uh, I think it is. I think it is. Yetis. It's crazy because I know exactly what to do to beat it. And, like an idiot, I electrocuted myself. Alright, well this time we should beat it. No problem. Go in. There we go. What? Okay. There we go. <clears throat> now, let's not be an, idi <clears throat> an idiot and I'll execute myself. So that's good. Now I need to get the other block on that one there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Woo! Okay. Now there's a Thunderblade in that box, but I can't fit it in my inventory, and I kind of don't want to give up anything else, so... Oh well. Off we go.
In the name of the goddess Halia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Oh, there's four. I can get another heart now. Sweet. It's crazy. I only have 52 shrines done out of 120. That's so insane. Okay, cool. All right, so yeah, this is the Gerudo Town Shrine because that's the uh, Gerudo Valley there, right? How do I? By the way, how do I shield surf? Don't aren't you supposed to jump and then pull out your shield? Like that's how I pull my shield out, right? Look. How do you? Oh my god, it's hot. It's hot here. Alright, hold on. Let me get out of this area. Yeah, I got the whole map. Check it out. Check it out, Yetis. How long have I been a streamer for? <clears throat> my first stream was, oh my god, years and years and years ago. It was uh, Hearthstone. was the first game I ever streamed. The Blizzard card game, Hearthstone. Um, holy crap. Uh... How long ago was that? Well, I'll tell you in a second. Hold on. If I go to my YouTube, I'll see when I was streaming Hearthstone. Because I have Hearthstone on my YouTube channel. And... One second. Let me search my stuff here. And I will tell you in a minute. Jusky Rain, Hearthstone. Um... So for about four years, about four years, I've been streaming. So since 2014-ish, I think. Jump, then press target button and a button. Target button, and, oh, target button and A button. Ah, nice. Look at that. Cool, I like that. Okay, let me get the hell out of here, because I'm going to get... It might be longer than four years, actually. I don't know. It might actually be longer than... That's when I first started putting Hearthstone videos on YouTube, but it might actually be longer than four years. Alright, so where should I go? I actually have to go back to Rito Village and figure out how the hell to get this next uh, Guardian... This next Divine Beast down. <clears throat> Yeah, I really should try to take out this next Divine Beast as my next objective here. I also have to get a memory and go back to Impa. I have to go to a place where my, um, you know, that, that, that the memories are and go back to Impa and uh, get the Champion's Tunic. I still never did any of that yet. So, how do I get this started? It was easy in Zora's Domain because they told me to go to the king. I went to the king and he gave me the quest for the Divine Beast. How the heck do I get the Divine Beast quest started in Rito Village here? Because if I look at my... Hold on. If I look at my adventure log, <clears throat> there's nothing that 
Forbidden City entry. Yeah, there's nothing that like is the Rito Divine Beast quest. You know what I mean? There's nothing over here that's telling me how to get to like who to talk to or where the next Divine Beast like quest line is. Ten luminous stones. Do I have those yet? I have 13. Yeah, you know what? Hold on a minute. I got 13 luminous stones. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go try to turn in that quest real quick. Here we go. This guy. Where's he at? Let's go give these luminous stones over to this dude. See what he gives us. But I don't know how to get the next Divine Beast quest started. Yetis, do you know? Yeah, obviously look around the town, but I'm trying to not like, um... I don't know, I kind of made my way through the town once already and didn't get the quest yet, but I'll, I'll go look around the town, that's fine. <clears throat> I just didn't want to walk around the town and talking to people for like a half an hour and then all of a sudden I have to leave to go to work, you know? But, I'll see. Alright, I need to give these luminous stones over to this dude. We pick up some fleet lotus seeds real quick. There we go. Okay. Hey, what's up? Oh, wait a minute. He's got a quest. Hi, Leon. <laughs> Donate some hot-footed frogs. Okay. Five hot-footed frogs. Okay, wait a minute. Frog catching. Do I have... How many hot-footed frogs do I have? Do I have any frogs? I should. Wait a minute, I should have frogs. Here we go, six hot-footed frogs. I got them. I got them, buddy. Have some frogs. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. You really brought them. Damn straight. Take this as thanks. I got an armoranth. Tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Raises my defense when cooked into a dish. Okay. Complete. Sweet. So I just received and completed a side quest. And now I'm completing this side quest. Luminous stones. Oh, wait. I should have said here are the stones. Okay. Thank you, you're really giving me 10 luminous stones. Damn straight. And a 1, and a 2, and a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yes, I did. You gave me a diamond for it. Okay. Oh, wait. Two diamonds. Nice. Okay. Boom. <clears throat> All right, cool. All right, so that's all done. Let's head back now to Rito Village and check around town to see if I can get this next Divine Beast quest started. Yeah, I'll check it out myself first, Yetis.
Save at least one diamond? Gotcha. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for the heads up on that. All right, well, <clears throat> let's talk to these people. Well, what happened here? Cursed monster, what monster? Damn, I just took the bow. Oh, actually, I can't carry anymore. <clears throat> uh, let's check my bows out real quick. <laughs> Take it. There you go. Have that bow in return. Yeah, I figured the Divine Beast was probably the monster, yeah. That's great. Can I get the freaking quest from you guys? <laughs> All I need is to like trigger the quest. Everybody's all like, oh, never mind, forget it. <laughs> Flight range. All right, Yetis, thanks, man. Thanks for dropping in. Have a good day, man. Holy crap, who is this? Oh, here we go. This has to be where I get the quest. Could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I'm Canelli, Elder of Rito Village. Here we go, yes. <laughs> he thinks I'm a descendant. Here we go. I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Man Meadow. Yep. <clears throat> Find Tiba. Okay. Cool. All right. Now we got it. Divine Beast Man Meadow. Very cool. Alright, let me make sure that's my main quest. Yeah, that's my that's my selected quest. Okay. I'm supposed to find Who am I supposed to talk to here? This guy? No. Who am I supposed to talk to here? Teba's wife, Saki, may know where he is. So I gotta find Saki.
Yeah, I gotta find some. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I'm in a statue. Let me get another heart. <clears throat> All right, cool. Boom. Awesome. <clears throat> now we got seven. Okay. I gotta find this Saki. Misa. Oh, that's the uh, shop. I already got all the clothes here. Oh, another quest here. Yes, I love stories. <clears throat> Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain and looked below him to the northwest. Suddenly, he saw a huge snow white birdie with its wings spread wide. It took off flying after the snow white birdie and he got a little closer. Grandpa saw something super important inside its belly. The bird had swallowed. Oh, I know where the big tree is though. It's over there, you see it? Okay. Another side quest I gotta do. The bird in the mountains, it's a shrine. Okay, cool. Where the heck is Saki? Here she is. Nice. Where did your husband go? The flight range. Okay. <clears throat> you gotta head over there. Take off from the volley's landing. It's a single. It's a straight shot down to the flight range. Okay. Cool. Link is remembering something, I think. Yeah, here we go. We got another memory. Oh, this is from the first time. Look, he's got the Master Sword. Yeah, look. And the Champion's Tuning. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then. My ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the retail. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I have been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless... You think you can prove me wrong? Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? On the Divine Beast. 
Oh, you must have parted me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he just remembered. Descendant. Descendant, are you alright? I'm not the descendant, man. I'm him. Alright, so we got an update. Search the flight range for Tiba. Okay. So the flight range is where the flag is, they said? It's a straight shot down to the flight range, it said. Um, see, I don't know where it is. There was a flag or something, wasn't there? Hang on. Rivali's Landing. Yeah, they said if you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot. But where? At the base of Heber Mountains, I think they said? There's Heber Mountains there. Oh, I guess that's where I have to go, that way. It's already marked off. So here, I guess. Yeah, where these flags are. Okay. Here's the flags. Oh, it suddenly just got really cold. <clears throat> I'm okay, I'm equipped for it, but... Oh, there's a horse there. The flight range, sweet. Okay. Oh, arrows and a bow. I already got a swallow bow. I think I already have pictures of arrows, right? Yeah, I do. I'll take them, though. Oh, crap. Look who it is. He's here. I think this is him. He might be old and gray now. Yo, buddy. Remember me? Tiba, yep. I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Oh, you know me. I can
can help you. Van Meta. <laughs> I'm Link. And that is once Divine Beast Van Meadow falls from the sky. <laughs> Not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. <clears throat> he has to test me, okay. We read our warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our, our aerial archery skills. Maneuver through the air and destroy five targets, okay, in three minutes. Any pointers? Five targets in three minutes. Okay. Oh my god, here we go. I'll use the swallow bow, I guess. Whoops. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Boom! That was super easy. Wow, that was awesome. <clears throat> I got that done. Easy peasy. You're a skilled archer. It was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. And I tell you, Link, when you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. If they're seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Hundreds of them. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll get you in the position so you can give its cannons all you've got. Inside that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it. Okay, cool. Nice. Awesome. It's a pretty cool picture. I know I don't need it for the compendium, but that was pretty cool. Alright, so I need to get rid of a bow so I can pick up this other bow. I want that Lionel bow because it shoots multiples. Knight's bow, knight's bow, knight's bow. I got three knight's bows, so you know what? I guess... Let me drop one of the knight's bows. <clears throat> a falcon bow. Cool. Highly refined Rito made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Rito warriors favor it for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even further at aerial combat. Very cool. Boom. Wow, look at this. Look at this bow. That's awesome. Okay. Time to face him. Holy crap. Bomb arrows. He gave me 20. 20 bomb arrows. Sweet. Alright, I got warm clothes. What's the plan? I'll draw Meadow's fire. That'll be your chance to destroy its cannons. Okay. Four cannons total. The main body's protected, so I just gotta take out all four cannons. Okay, cool. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to save right here, and we're going to have to do this in the next stream, because I have to leave to get ready to go to work, which sucks. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Oh, that's, that's as high as it's going to take me. I was wondering what's all the way up there, but... Alright, well, <clears throat> let's save. We did pretty good in this session here. And uh, next time we'll take on Divine Beast Van Meadow, which is awesome because once I defeat that Divine Beast, I'll have another heart. 
which is pretty damn cool. So once I get 13 hearts, we're gonna we're going straight for the master sword. I know I could go back to that statue and trade my stamina upgrades for hearts temporarily, so I can go get the master sword and then revert it back to the way it is now with max stamina. But I actually want to do it this way. I don't want to swap my stuff around. I got max stamina. I want to keep max stamina. And then as soon as I get to 13 hearts, we'll go through the forest and get the uh, Master Sword. But yeah, we're going to defeat, defeat Divine Beast Van Meadow next. And then before I go to the next village, I might actually uh, go try to find Hestu so that I could trade some of these Korok seeds in to get more inventory space for weapons and, and uh, shields and bows and stuff. So, alright you guys, thank you so much for being here. This is Jusky Rain. I hope you guys all have a great day. And until next time, peace out everybody.